Oh. Got an itchy itch a Ford back there getting himself ready. You ready? Okay. Good morning. Welcome back to me and this noisy chair. Uh, we have today another Coffee Chit Chats with Cass. I almost forgot the name because it's been so long since I had to do this intro. Cheers, everyone. Staying on brand with the nails and uh, <laughs> the cup. Don't judge me. I painted my nails myself because I was bored yesterday. So happy Sunday, everyone. I am still waking up even though it's past noon and yeah um, thank you if you were patient and were expecting a video last week it was Easter and I didn't really post anything to let anyone know but I was with my family so obviously I'm not gonna you know make a video that week I thought about pre-filming but it's just it's been a lot just with moving and decorating and stuff but yeah welcome to our guest room here um we've got some old paintings of my great grandmas that i've had forever that used to be in my bathroom and then i think at one point where were they oh they used to actually um they were in the bathroom of my studio and now they are well not now but after that they were in my living room in my old apartment so now they're here in the guest room so i guess the theme for this room is like love and romance uh <laughs> i guess you could say um i have first corinthians uh 13 it's you know the love is patient love is kind quote on a canvas back there and we've got a bleppy puppy right here son can you say hello we've got a little miss coming out all right well she's retreated to underneath the bed so um no sasha yet but this is basically her room as well her litter box and food and water are set up in here so this is uh if you want to get real technical it's sasha's room <laughs> um yeah so that's that's what's going on over here still don't have my office set up and filming area so unless you wanted to see a complete mess uh this is what we're looking at for location today and what i have here in my reusable dunkin donuts cup to cut down on my single use plastic I have a black iced coffee and uh, I guess maybe the first few sips of it were like a little bit more overpowering and now that it's been sitting for a little bit it's not quite so but back in the day Dunkin Donuts used to have um, some Baskin Robbins ice cream flavors and you know I think every year they will do it you know it's part of their like seasonal rotation is that they'll do ice cream inspired flavors because like I don't know the details but somehow Dunkin Donuts and Baskin Robbins are like either in some sort of relationship or they're like somewhat related there are sometimes you know like combo stores but whatever that's I digress so they used to have the Jamocha Almond Fudge, which was arguably the best ice cream flavor they've ever had. I don't know why they never have brought it back. I think maybe some locations have had it here and there, but any location that I've ever been near in the past, I want to say like six years because it came out when I was still in college, um, they never have it, even when they do the ice cream flavors. So this is actually Pistachio Almond Fudge, which is like... I thought it was an interesting combo because I'm like, I was so excited when I saw it because I saw that they had almond fudge back. And so I thought, oh my god, they have Jamocha almond fudge again, my life is complete. And no, it is pistachio almond fudge. So that's what this is, it's just black coffee with that because it's cheat day which means I can have all the sugar I want. Which really, even still, is not that much. Well, 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 look who we have here. <laughs> This is what I'm dealing with right now. Excuse me, ma'am. The most terrified little lady. Say hello. Sasha? No? You just want me to put you down? Hmm. I love this kitty. Even though she's not very snuggly right now, she just wants to get to her fresh litter and food. Okay, thank you. You've been a great participant. Thank you so much. <laughs> 
so if you hear the little jingly bell, that's Sasha walking around. But anyway, so I mean, it's fine. At first, it tasted a lot more like almond butter, which like almond butter to me tastes like kind of cherry like. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, it's fine. So I don't know how I feel about it. Like, because almond butter's fine. It tastes kind of like cherry to me in a weird way. So I don't know. It's no Jamoka Almond Fudge, but it's fine. I feel like for me, I will probably stick with, you know, like either just straight mocha, which is like just chocolate, uh, or the peppermint mocha is also pretty good. So that's my longer than it needs to be statement about how I am still salty and will forever be salty until Duncan brings back Jamoka Almond Fudge. Thank you for listening to this PSA. I tell you what we got going on here is some wily hair that short of either showering and washing it which I just have not taken the time to do and spraying it down this this is, this is just what we're working with so you came here for the real me and this is what you're getting so you're very welcome mm. so we have uh, some new furniture coming on Wednesday of this week. My best friend is coming to visit me also on Wednesday, so I'm very excited about that. And yeah, we got a new TV, so that's pretty cool. And basically, like, <sighs> I keep saying, like, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. And I think I'm just gonna do a house tour before it's, like, completely done because it's never going to be perfect because I'm literally always going to the store to get new, like, decor or something whatever like the biggest thing that I got this past week was curtains because we have windows in every single room except for the bathrooms um but like we needed to put up blinds in our kitchen because we had no blinds and it's so hot that it would be literally unbearable if we didn't put them up so we got those and then I had to pick out curtains for every single room I would say probably like the room that I'm most proud of is our dining room, and I'll insert a little clip here of our dining room curtains. Uh, but basically, you know, now that we have curtains everywhere, everything is like set up and in the room where it's supposed to go. I just need my desk, which is, you know, going to be my workstation and makeup station because that was in here for a hot minute, but now there's, you know, like a little nightstand entertainment center that we have in here. Had hair all over me. Thanks a lot, Sasha. And what else? Oh, now are you gonna be the well-behaved boy that I love so much, huh? Tyrant. Um, let's see. So yeah, once I get my desk, I can really unbox everything that's left. And there's also like a little cube shelf organizer that I've had my eye on that I think I'm just gonna bite the bullet and get so that I can unpack all my books. And then all of the boxes will be out of the house. <laughs> I have two boxes left. There's one over here that I don't know if you can see that has books in it. There's one in the front that also has more books in it. And then I have like bins for my uh, office desk area. So once I get my desk, I can have my front room completely set up and yeah. Um, I also am waiting on a dining set that my parents are supposed to be giving me so that we can have the dining room completely done, but for now we have a different table that's in there. So my guess is like once we get that set, we'll probably use that table for like a glorified serving station or like, you know, maybe an arts and crafts table at some point, but yeah. That's pretty much what we've got going on over here at the new house. It's looking really good, I'm very pleased. Um, I usually would have this bed made, but we've had company the past couple weekends, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. So I have had to strip the bedding off so that I can wash it. We've got the little guy just enjoying it like he does. What do you think, son? What do you think, Duke? Do you like it? But yeah, this is actually a natural lighting setup as well, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Um, but yeah, I know which video I'm going to make next, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, let's backtrack. 
I was actually supposed to be in LA this week, but I didn't make prior arrangements, so I had to reschedule some stuff. So I will actually be going this week, and so it's just gonna be more hectic things and travel, but um, I've had the time to kinda like stay home, and uh, I took a bath uh, yesterday, maybe two nights ago, so I've finally been able to like stay home, enjoy the house, get everything ready and so I think you know starting this week slash weekend is going to be like a month full of lots of travel and fun stuff going on so that's cool because we all know I love to travel I probably should have thought of a topic beforehand I did I thought about talking about music festivals because there's a lot coming up but I think I might save that for like a week that's closer to a music festival. I think Stagecoach is this weekend. The two weekends before that were Coachella. So we are like ass deep in festival season, which is like fine. But also like, I said this uh, probably in like a YouTube comment, I think, but like music festivals really aren't for me, but I can appreciate that people enjoy them. So if that's your thing, like all the power to you, but I just am not that kind of person. I like staying home <laughs> and hanging out with my pets, which we got two out of three in here. Little Ollie Wally is uh, out running around somewhere. He's been terrorizing little Miss Sasha, but yeah, I mean, it's been pretty cool, you know, settling in and everything. It's always nice to go from having just an apartment to having a full on house. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that this is all almost done. I feel very accomplished to have you know done so much in so little time especially because like what happened was you know I think I might have touched on this already but basically we moved in had like a few days and then took off for Denver so there's a week that I could have been here but I thought maybe it would be a good idea for me to go there but now that we've been back and only going to you know like see my parents are staying pretty close it's been much easier to get everything done look at this old lady she's just so sweet when she wants to be what do you think mm, she's purring but yeah so we got a full house over here what with all of our animals all right i think i'm getting rambly so we're gonna end it here but happy late easter to everyone uh, because I was not here to tell you last week next week we'll be here back on a regularly scheduled program hopefully in my filming corner because I have it all set up I really enjoy it but the problem is there's a massive beanbag chair in front of uh, where I'm supposed to sit and do these so we shall resume our regularly scheduled content next week and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this is also why I have to have drinks with lids, because if not, somebody will try to drink them. It's okay, I love you. Alright, we'll see you guys next week. Say bye, little one.